and welcome to today's video. I have to start out with addressing what is the elephant in the room for me. Why is my Dyson review going up this late? And I'll tell you why. I'm not justifying it, but I'm just giving you a little bit of an idea as to why I took this long to put up this honest review. You guys know that I went with Dyson to Thailand to Bangkok in October, November, I think it was. I got my hands on the product only in Jan. And uh, literally, the first thing I did when I got the product in my hand was that I shot an Instagram IGTV video for you guys. I hope that you guys have seen it. If you're following me on Instagram, you probably have seen it. The video crossed half a million subscribers something views when I saw last when I checked last and uh, it was just an instructional video as to how to use it and what the PR kit looked like and all of that but I realized I was getting a lot of DMs people wanted me to do a full length video even here on YouTube and understandably so but by the time I realized this it was Jan end and uh, also Feb I've been traveling you guys have been seeing my vlogs and you know that I've been pretty much running around helter skelter filming it is 9.56 p.m. and hopefully this is the last work thing I'm doing in the day. This video is something I did really want to do but because of schedules and this and that, in a way it also worked out for the better because I got to try the Dyson Airwrap in many, many, many combinations which basically means my review and you guys know me when I get a product in PR, I have the entire kit sitting right here. No matter whether I get a product in PR or whether I've bought it, I have never let it dominate my opinion. I will never let it dominate my opinion, inshallah, touch wood. I have a set of pros, I have a set of cons. I'm not going to lie to you, but I want to dive into this right here. I don't want to make this intro any longer. Just giving you a background as to why this took a while. I also have new hair, so I guess it's a good thing in a way that I took a while um, to do this. While I am doing this, I do urge you guys to go ahead and take a look at my first impressions because this is not a first impression. I've done this various number of times before. I have been using this product pretty actively. Uh, but I want you guys to take a look at that first impressions as well. So I'll add a link to that down below in the info box. Please take a look at it because I'm from the beauty industry. So I do sort of know my way around things. Plus I got a really good um, introduction to the product when I was there for their Asia press meet back in 2018. Having said that, that was my first impressions of using the product on my own. So I will urge you to go take a look at that video when you can. Coming into things here today, I have the entire PR kit over here now i know that the product comes in two different variants and i will add links and all of that down below in the info box and their two variants address huge problems like frizz and shine and smoothness and volume and all of that but the pr kit i have with me actually consists of both the kit elements because i have I just dropped something. Okay, I dropped this lovely little leather case. The kit that I have obviously comes with this lovely uh, leather case. It's really handy to leave around if you don't want your um, hot tools lying around somewhere. It looks something like this. The one I have here is the complete kit. I do believe that this isn't being sold just yet. I'm not sure whether globally or just in India. If I find it online anywhere, I will add links to everything down below. But I want to give you a quick insight as to what I think of the product. Let's just quickly introduce you to the product in itself first. Okay, so first off, I have the Air app. So this baby over here actually has the beautiful V8 engine that we've all heard about. It is absolutely beautiful. It's super stunning. It is 1300 watts and uh, it's super super light i love the dyson color combinations in general the gunmetal with the pink is just beautiful and then you have multiple fittings that come on it so for example when you have wet hair the first thing you need to do to use this tool is semi dampen up your hair which is sort of like halfway through drying it up putting on these heads is really really simple so all you need to do to put the heads on is here's a little bit of a button you insert it and there you go, it's done. You obviously have to make sure that it is fitting just right because it has four little holes for it to match in and your head is on. So here I have the wonderful blow dryer. You guys know that I use the Dyson hair dryer all the time. Uh, this is not as strong as it. It's sort of like a baby version of it, but I think it's apt because you're not supposed to dry your hair out all the way. One of the things that you should know about the Dyson product, in case you haven't already seen all the hundreds of videos that are on the internet already, um, is that you can't use it on dry hair. Your hair needs to be sort of damp. So this is what it looks like. It's really light. It's really pretty and all of that. 
I am going to also show you the four barrels that come with the kit. You have them over here. So basically, you have two 40 mm barrels. These babies over here, and as you can see, the arrows point in different directions. I'll tell you why. And then you have the 30 mm barrels. This is what they look like and these are what I've used in my hair at the moment. Now, if you're wondering why you have arrows facing the opposite directions on each of these, I'll give you a little bit of a uh, technical insight. When you do your curls, ideally your curls are supposed to go outward. I myself, up until maybe last year, early last year, would get confused in which way the curls are supposed to go very, very often. So what this product does is it makes it really, really simple for you. I'm looking into a mirror right now. And when you look at it into a mirror, if the arrow is pointing outward, when I'm looking at it because it's going in one direction, right? So for you, it's pointing that way. But for me, from this point of view where I am, it's pointing this way because it's all going in one direction. So if it's pointing outward, you put it on that side. So when I'm looking at the mirror and I see that the point, arrows are going in the outward direction, I'll use this on this side of my hair and the other one on this side of my hair. It really genuinely makes a user, especially if you're like a new curler, it really, really makes your life simple. Then you've got these two brush heads, which will help you with smooth, shine and frizz. So if you have frizzy hair, by the way, I have friends who've used the frizzy brush and it does wonders. I've literally had friends in these last two months who've come home and been like, I'm coming to use your Dyson Airwrap so I know whether to buy it or not no jokes um and then the last but not the least you have this little round um sort of like a blow drying for volume kind of a head this is something that is really really great to use in your crown area i haven't opted for it today because i like my sleek hair and i'm loving my middle partings even more so since i got this hair color by the way but i want to give you an insight into the technical bits of the dyson okay so realistically speaking this is a very well priced product let me put it like that and i've had a lot of friends telling me 35000 rupees for a hair dryer is a bit much i get it for me as someone who has the product i can tell you it's worth every penny because it really doesn't damage your hair but does that mean i'm going to ask all of you to go buy this i don't and i'm going to tell you why you could and why you couldn't and i'll let you decide because i like i always say this these are always unbiased reviews okay so i'm debating whether i should first show you a demo of the product or whether we should talk pros and cons i think i should quickly show you glimpses of the demo because i'm sure you've seen me use this on igtv or you've seen people use this in general on the internet by now so first off on wet hair i actually got myself the dyson comb this is a product that is end to end worth every rupee it's a wide toothed comb that is absolutely fabulous i have never had my hair detangle the way this this comb does if there's one thing that you have to buy from this entire kit it's this comb i'm going to try and hunt down the link for it if i can but i've owned like hundreds of combs in my life before I became like a non-comber, ironically speaking. But every time I wash my hair, I use this to detangle my hair because it just does such a good job. And I don't have to give my hair jhatkas to not hurt. It genuinely just eases through so beautifully. Coming to drying up your hair. You start out with semi-drying your hair. Leave your hair half damp, half dry with the help of the small head that you get along with the set. Irrespective of which kit you buy, you're going to get this little blow drying attachment with it. Okay, once you're done with semi-drying your hair, you take tiny little sections and just the way I told you to pick between the barrels, between the left side and the right side, bases the arrows, you go ahead and put one little wave of it near your strand of hair. Once you put the Dyson on, it will automatically suction your strand into it and literally just take all of the hair, suck it in and start heating it up. So what's absolutely amazing about this heating process is that it's not generating heat out of being heat to style your hair. The heat that you actually get is only generated from air pressure. So basically what's actually happening is that the engine is making the air around the uh, equipment itself go round. I've shown you guys glimpses of this in my Bangkok vlog. I really hope you've had the chance to take a look at that because the geek in me completely freaked out at the beauty of this amazing scientific discovery of sorts. Once you're done with styling your hair up with the hot part of it, which does not damage your hair by the way, you go ahead and press the cool shot button on your equipment, which immediately calms your hair down and even the little bit of heat that it's been exposed to, it gets taken back because you're leaving your hair off with a cool shot. This cool shot also helps in shaping your hair because that's the shape your hair will retain. And after the cool shot is done, you pull your air wrap back into normal motion into being away from your hair and you'll see that the hair is holding the curl amazingly. 
and of course once you're done with this you will go ahead and repeat the same thing across all of your hair to give it the same kind of curl some people prefer to switch between the 30 and 40 mm barrel and i've done that on a few occasions as well but i also like to just do a full 30 mm look which is what i've done today now i'm not going to leave you here this is where i will definitely highlight a con of the product a it does not give you end to end control over the way it pulls your hair in because it is air pressure generated what is bound to happen is that some hair might sometimes be left behind it is very very likely that these are the more dry strands that are getting left behind from what i've understood so far this is a little bit off the minus point that i would give it because then you have to manually pick up that strand and take it around which becomes like a normal tong but at the same time of course it's not damaging my hair so i guess It's a minus point but it's not a big minus point from the way I'm looking at it because I'm still getting really great curls but that too without damaging my hair. Having said that, I will be honest and say that it does add a little bit of frizziness to the hair. I'm going to come in a little bit close and you'll see the way some of my hair gets static because of the amount of air pressure that it is sort of exposed to. So there's no taking away from that. This is a 100% honest review and I will tell you the setbacks of it as well as how much I love the curls. Another thing you may notice, I did my curls about 45 minutes ago. This side is holding up beautifully. I actually did this side first. and then this side is not holding up all that well like these curls are holding up well and then suddenly there's just it's not it's not holding up all that well i'll tell you why using product in your hair if you want your curls to last sort of becomes a non negotiable i've done curls that looked absolutely fabulous with the dyson but at the same time they don't last me personally very very long i don't have very thick hair so i love doing curls i do curls very very often but one of the drawbacks is definitely that unless i'm using a hair spray or i'm using mousse to make sure it stays in shape it doesn't really stay as long as i would like for it to stay and i'm going to be completely transparent with you on that front but while there are some of these cons i think that the pro for me is that i personally do not mind the effort of using a mousse or using a hairspray because i want my hair to last long in any case and i'm very likely to be using those products even if i was using a hair tong so i guess it sort of evens itself out depending on where you're coming from i like to use these products in my hair because when i style my hair up i want it to just last for the day maybe even last for the next day to be honest so i don't mind that i have tried this exact look with just 30 mm barrels and it has lasted me up to 2 days looking absolutely amazing because i had used hair holding spray in my hair in case you want to know which spray i was using i was using the tresemme uh, strong hold one time and another time i used i was using the l'oreal gold hold so in case you want to get your hands on any of these hair sprays you can probably give that a shot also so it does have like a little bit of a perspective thing that if you use the products anyway like me I would rather use the Dyson Air app because at the same time I'm not damaging my hair the way I would be with a heat styling, you know, like a tong. So another point I definitely have to address is that finish wise to get the kind of finish that someone might get after, you know, a a, a heat tong, you will have to really practice on your skill with the Dyson Air app. Like this over here I'm personally happy with because I was like going up and down and I was happy with giving myself nice waves and I'm loving this sort of messy curl thing that I've been doing for myself very often ever since I colored my hair. But if you want an instant like you want to pick up a product and not get used to it off the bat want to make it look like you have done your hair fabulously then this product might not be for you because this product does take a little bit of understanding it a little bit of i won't call it research but you do have to get used to it which you don't have to get used to with heat tongs or with straighteners because they've been in the market for so long and they're so common but for me as someone who styles my hair as often as i do guys i style my hair at least four or five times a week and that's because i'm shooting so much or i'm going for so many events i find this to be a huge advantage because i'm styling it while not damaging my hair but like i said it's a very very perspective thing if you're someone who styles your hair once in a month or twice in a month you don't want to spend 35000 rupees on an equipment i would say stick to your straighteners and tongs because you're jumping into a finished uh, look like a style already look with this you have to get used to it and there's no taking away from that i still genuinely do sometimes get confused between when to put my uh, equipment down and up just honest fact putting it right out there 
The price is definitely another con. I said that right off the bat in the beginning, thirty-five thousand rupees is something that not everyone might want to spend. I've received this in PR, and I'm very transparent about this with you. But I feel fortunate and grateful for the fact that I've received this in PR, and I think it's great for someone like me. So if you have a lifestyle that requires for you to look great with your hair or for that matter if you've been told you don't take enough care of your hair and if you're worried about hair fall or if you're worried about your hair getting super dehydrated I feel like sometimes if you really overheat your hair without using heat protectant sprays and all of that it can do super damage to your hair if your hair has been affected by any of these things I would Highly recommend the Dyson Airwrap because I've seen a major difference in my hair ever since I started using it. Because I'm not exposing my hair to that much heat. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I never use my heat tongs and my irons. I use my straightener every once in a while. I do use my tongs every once in a while. I've shown you how I get curls with both of them, but at the same time, they are damaging my hair, and there's no taking away from that. So. I think I'm leaving you with a comprehensive list of the pros and the cons and you need to decide for yourself if you think that this is a great investment for you. There are a lot of my friends who've come and tried it and said, "Oh, this is an amazing product, but it's super expensive, so I don't think I'll buy it." And then I've also had friends who've been like, "Oh my god, I'm doing these curls faster than ever because you don't have to be a professional to do it. You literally just stick the Dyson Air app on you and it does the curls for you. And once you get used to it, it looks super pro so they're like i am styling my hair more often than ever without heat damage but i get that the entire thing gets a little bit the ratio gets a little bit skewed because of the price point i get that so i'm leaving this completely to you so i'm not saying whether this product is a 100% hit or a 100% miss for me it's a hit because it's working for me it works with my lifestyle but for you only you can decide i actually want to know from a lot of you guys i want to know your thoughts would you go out and buy it have you already bought it would you buy it if it was cheaper i don't know like tell me just also maybe this is very late but i should say this disclaimer anyway this video is not sponsored um it i'm not getting paid for this i do get to keep the pr kit but that's because i was in thailand with them and because i was there for the press meet and all of that i'm doing this video because you guys have been asking me to do the video and dm um just putting this out there I've given you guys a fairly mixed review I feel I've genuinely honestly done my best to weigh out the pros as well as the cons. I have uh tried it with mousses with sprays. I've tried it without anything like today I'm pretty much without anything. Um yeah and I've I've tried to do my best to do justice to everything I've observed about the product over a period of these past 2 months. I am kind of glad I took those 2 months because I got to try it in so many different ways and my review won't be biased because I've given it so many different situations to perform in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll come back for more. I hope that you're a subscriber already. If you aren't, please do subscribe because I really want to make this subscriber fan grow as much as possible. Turn those bell notifications on because I upload 5 videos a week and I would love for you to keep coming back for more. I will insert all the relevant links down below in the info box so please make sure you take a look at that before you go. I'm going to go now because it is literally 10:20 p.m. and I need to go and take my makeup off and get ready for bed. I love you guys so 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 much. See you in the next one. Bye.